Yes, folks, it's the Mega CD. The Mega CD, one of those early disc driven systems that uh, had a lot of interesting potential. This is Bovo the Vulture, by the way, and uh, this is a very special Let's Play. Well, I mean, they're all very special, aren't they? I mean, I'm doing them. <sighs> yes, folks. And this is, uh, this is a game that was uh, translated and put on the Sega CD by Wolf Team. Right now, please rise for our national anthem. Yeah, folks, this is Road Adventure, alternately called um, Road Blaster in some other translations of it. Also, that movie plays at the beginning of every version of this game, but only in the Genesis version does it get that song, which is by, as uh, my good friend Achilles uh, suggested, by Bruce Springsteen's Japanese cousin. You know I'm gonna revive when I am on the road. So, uh, you may have just heard me pressing some buttons there and then a little beep. That's because I am absolutely, positively, totally cheating on this game. I will explain how. It's time to uh, start the game. Also, yeah. Anyways, about how I'm cheating. Look at this game. It's pretty much just a movie. And then there's little different arrows for button commands. This, in case you're too young to remember them, is, uh, this was originally an arcade game way, way, way back years ago. And back then, they used to have arcade games that were actually just sort of Laserdisc movies that would play. And they would continue to play forward on the regular story, provided that you hit the right buttons at the right time. But really, that was the end of the sort of, uh, interactivity of it. And this is one of those games. I think the most popular example is probably, uh, Dragon's Lair, which was basically a Don Bluth cartoon. Um done up in an adventure mode. But here, as you can see, we've basically gone all crazy, um, 
gone all crazy Mad Max Road Warrior Renegade here. And, um... We're gonna run over shoppers <laughs> and drive along on the sidewalk. See, this game, not only did it allow you to drive on the sidewalk, it forced you to drive on the sidewalk. I mean, you know, Grand Theft Auto, yeah, I mean, it lets you drive on the sidewalk and you can run people over. But this game forces you to drive on the sidewalk. That's how badass it is. Also, <laughs> we're driving through a hotel lobby, too. So, um, yeah. You can see now that my score is not racking up. And it's not because I'm not supposed to be driving up the beach, because I am. That's pretty much what the movie that is playing before us dictates. I'm actually... I actually used a cheat code. I set this to demo mode. Because, honestly, were I a younger man, I might have... well... Oh, man. Look at this thing. Alright, more turbo. Wow, I think we just caused those two cars to ram into each other. They must have been people that were involved in the death of our wife. As you recall from the beginning, where I was being solemnly silent, our wife was killed because we were run off the road by some thugs, some street thugs. Also, look very closely at this car for a minute. Does it remind you of anything? Yep, folks, that's right. Um, it would appear to be, for all the world, um, the car from Double Dragon. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not there were like any programmers involved in both games or anything like that, but uh, either way. No, this game was originally developed by... Yeah, it was originally developed by Data East and Toei. Toei, better known for things like uh, Sailor Moon, um, I think one of the Voltron series, a lot of Japanese animation. Um, and, I mean, you know, clearly, they would be the ones that would have been doing all these beautiful drawing, and Data East would have been doing the, you know, making button commands uh, do all these different things. Now, basically, if the game weren't in demo mode, if I didn't hit this turbo button, which I'm doing right now to make the turbo engine noise, just so that you get the full experience. Like, if I didn't turn right in that amount of time... Wow! Okay, ramming that thing doesn't seem like a wise idea. It was covered in spikes. But yeah, if I didn't press right during the time that that right button was blinking, I would die. Yeah, we're trying to ram the back of that spiky car again. That's gonna just puncture our radiator. And wow, does this car slide. Whoa, 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 boulder. Okay, let's go. Stop. Go. Pennzoil. I don't know how we're finding these guys down there. I mean, oh, okay, we're going up a rally course. So this is a hill climb or something. That's awesome. And never mind, it just stopped being awesome. We just turbo barrel rolled our way through a helicopter. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think this is a very natural rock formation. But, uh, well, we eluded our captor by driving over whatever this is. Yes! Get out, turn back, and look at what we did. Apparently, at the end of each of these adventures, we, uh, stop and examine our handiwork after we've killed someone. I'm not getting any bonuses, folks, because I'm not actually playing. If I were a younger man, I would actually, you know, practice and try and figure out, um, it's going to be left, followed by right, followed by left, followed by another left, followed by turbo, followed by right, followed by brake, and... I don't know. Of course, this was originally an arcade game. That was back when the actual laser disc was, you know, being used. Um, this is, of course, translated down to a CD, and for purposes of Sega CD, I mean, you can see the graphics on it. There have been a couple of different ports of Road Blasters slash Road Avengers, and the graphics on this one are the worst. However, 
it has the awesome Bruce Springsteen theme, so you've got to play this one. This is the definitive version just for the theme song. Although, oh great, we got guys throwing barrels at us. Do a barrel roll, guys! Hey, we're actually back on a road, though, so that's nice. Now we can start getting back into the avenging business. Whoa! Okay, or we can just cause a semi to flip over. That's cool, too. Yes. Turning. Oh, slow down, slow down. Whoa, that came up on us really fast. Was that... Wow. This car is lower than I thought it was. See, like, right there I would have been dead because I hit the brake when I should have hit the turbo. But it doesn't matter because we're just doing demo. Oh, sweet. Are we going to get to go up the ramp? Those look like... What is those? Alphas or Volkswagen Chirpacos or something? Oh, sweet. Now, admittedly, folks, who hasn't seen one of those, like, car transporters and wanted to do that? We're just living out the dream right here. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is all going to explode, isn't it? That's all right. Speed turns, takes out fire. Also, one of the dreadnoughts is trying to kill us. I forget which one that was. I think it was the one that came with a chainsaw. Oh, crap. Uh, this should all blow up soon. Oh, yeah, so it did. Ah, we finally did some avenging on a road. First we were Beach Avenger, then we were Mountain Avenger. The end of Stage 3, we're finally a Road Avenger. We've reached our goal. Let's keep going. Don't stop avenging. Um, now we're back, Alley Avenger. Um, uh, whoa. Those people were actually shooting at us. Alright, we're knocking over more barrels. This is going very well, except for the fact that... Ah! There are crazy, crazy punks at every turn. And, wow, yeah, I think our car is like a tiny remote control car. I thought we were actually in this thing, but it seems to be able to drive underneath trucks without any problem. Whoa, don't know what that thing is, but let's avoid it at all times. I've noticed that the phrase LX5 or LXV has shown up a lot. Whoa. So this is just a graveyard of rusted car hulks in the back of this factory that have all rusted to an even shade of brown. Whoa. See, that's why you don't try and get out of the car, kids. Because, uh, you know, we'll hit you from behind and we'll force the car, you know, and rat violently shake the car so that you go flying off. Alright, more turboing. Oh, sweet. Knock those guys into concrete. And, wait, did we just do a vertical roll? I think we did. We already got finished doing a barrel roll. This time we're just doing a full loop. And again, we do a power slide to turn back and look at our destruction. No bonuses. My bad. Yes! Okay, we're on the Golden Gate Bridge now, and we're fighting a biker gang. They got all those cool 80s-looking sport bikes. I remember thinking sport bikes looked stupid in the 80s. Now that I've seen what sport bikes look like now, I think, man, 80s sport bikes looked cool. I'm a very old-fashioned person, apparently. We drive through a lot of oil, don't we? Either in the form of... Whoa! Okay. Yeah, let's drive through the park. Let's hit vendors. Oh, I didn't hit the brakes there. That's okay. Those kids were stunned by it. Also, that motorcycle had spikes in its tires. Um, hi guys. Alright, let's drive through more buildings. Always fun. Actually, this seems like it should be, uh, not very comfortable. I'm not really sure that our... Oh, are we going to take out another helicopter? <laughs> Sweet. So that brings our total helicopter takedown to two. Also, this gang of, like, you know, like, post-apocalyptic 
car driving street thugs. They have helicopters? Or are we just taking out everything now? Oh, we just knocked them off the bridge that was under construction. It's like the Illinois Nazis at the end of Blues Brothers, except those guys just drove off. Well, again, no bonus. And now we are driving through the forest stage. Also, I like how the uh, this gang's logo appears to be like a jack-o'-lantern face just carved into the back of the cars. That's kind of fun, right? That would make fun gang tattoo for all these guys, too. those there. One important thing I will note to you, both from my limited ability at attempting to play this, and from the Let's Play that I first discovered this game from, Let's Play by Frank O'Matic, um, who I would applaud if you've not watched this Let's Play, as you should. Um, nice. Okay, we're out in the middle of just a big dirt patch. Ah, oh, this is like a clear-cut forest. Ah, uh, see, brake for trains, folks. Safety. No, but one thing that you should know is you need to press and hold the directional key for as long as whatever era. Okay, another barrel roll. We're like doing Hot Wheels stunt jumps. But you need to, like, you can't just press the key once. You have to press and hold it until the arrow goes away. Otherwise, it won't count as the full steering or whatever. Yes, kill the jack-o'-lantern car, just keep hitting turbo, and do another friggin' barrel roll. That's like, what, two barrel rolls in that mission, another barrel roll in, I think, the second mission, and then there was one full loop instead of a roll that we managed. We're insane, dudes. But let's keep going. There can't be much left, can there? Yeah, we're going to the sewer. We're gonna go take out the Ninja Turtles. They've gotta be in on this somewhere, right? They're evil criminals. Or maybe I got them confused with somebody else. Maybe they're the world's most fearsome fighting team. See, the thing about this game that is all very confusing is that if you didn't have these arrows to help you, it would look like you could have just driven through there before. There's no way to know that that path would have resulted in automatic death. Once again, I hit the wrong buttons, and it, caused me, it would have caused me death. I do kind of like the way that... Um, and I mean, this is something that they can do, because they're not having to worry about lighting effects in their 3D sprites or anything, this is all just a cartoon. This has all been drawn by hand, like they used to do back in the days. You guys remember hand-drawn cartoons, don't you? Ah, uh, it seems like it's a fading art. Like barrel cooping. Not quite that bad, but... Well, that looks vaguely like a Kuntosh we just destroyed. Awesome. These evil thugs sure do have style. And money. I gotta say, I don't know what this evil crime syndicate was involved in. Apparently something that made them feel like they needed to kill us. It didn't make them feel like a running them, girl. Okay, so we got out. And that caused an explosion in the sewer. Us leaving just made it explode. Maybe we left a bomb behind. Maybe we're better loaded for bear than this mission than I thought we were. Alright, folks, I think this is the final mission. Whoa! Um, okay, I don't need to see that guy's batch this much. Yeah, let's turbo our way past it. And let's avoid the threshers. Maybe this isn't the last mission. I feel like the final showdown is not on a, fa on a farm field. Although, again... Well, I mean, maybe they're cultivating illegal drugs here, but I sort of feel like the evil criminal syndicate wouldn't have that big of a presence on, uh, 
Uncle Jim Bob's farm, you know? And as much as anything else, this looks like wheat. I mean, the rows are too close for it to be tobacco or corn or anything. Um, hey, we got pitchforks going on here. Oh, you know what's going to be terrible is if any of the cast members of Yeehaw just jump out here. Then they just get run over by threshers. Any of you folks remember Yeehaw? If so, you might have recognized some of my junior samples reference. There was another barrel roll! Barrel roll counts up to like four now, I think. Cars are not meant to do barrel rolls. Your, um... Your fighter in, uh, Star Fox. That thing is meant to do barrel rolls, not your car. Is this gonna do another barrel roll? Nope, just a high jump. That's cool. Yes, we're gonna take out more helicopters! We caused at least one of those to crash. I'm not sure if the other one did. Helicopters out on Uncle Jim Bob's. Yeah, okay, never mind. They're still out there. Okay, never mind. They just both crashed into each other. And exploded. As all things do in this game. It's only appropriate. Pretty much everything in this game is filled to the brim with gasoline and explosives. I mean, we are talking about automotive violence. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they are doing... Okay, yeah. The gang is just going through town blowing crap up. I think it's time that we stopped this. Get the gloves on. Get into gear. Turn on the headlights. It's time to go. Posters fling on our heads. Run over dudes. Avoid cats. This is an insane, intense experience. I'm not even playing the game, and I'm still excited and tense about it. I mean, we gotta bend this blazing wall of time. Hear the roars of my car. As we sweep, who will be? Yeah, but uh, hear the roars of my car, folks. Fun fact, my car has over 20 distinct roars. I love how we are the good guys in this, and yet we still constantly come within inches of the killing children. <laughs> yeah, we just drove in a mirror of ourselves. Thankfully, we had the mental presence of mind to recognize that it was a mirror and not just another car like ours careening toward us. Oh, shoot. Okay, see, that's what's supposed to happen when you do a barrel roll in your car. Although, we just died, I guess? This can't be true. This can't be the ending. Wait, there's the ch- Ah! Oh, she gave us the thumbs down. It's time for us to be killed. <laughs> we just took out a friggin' gladiator! Alright. Okay, so now we've captured the evil criminal gang syndicate's van. And we're chasing after, um... Whatever. I, we don't even know the name of the lady who is in charge of this evil gang syndicate. But we're chasing her down now. We're hot in her tail. And our van just exploded! It's in the process of exploding, but we're still driving it. Because we're just... And look at how fast and furious the different turns and inputs are coming now, folks. There's no way. Not in my old and feeble form I'll be able to... Oh, crap! <sighs> Did we at least kill her? We may have, but it's not going to bring our wife back. But it does give us a little peace of mind. The least they can do is play us a song. And a clip show.
So, yeah, folks. This is, I mean, for, you know, some of you younger gamers, you might not have been aware. I mean, you knew that in the early CD days they liked to put in a lot of animated sequences and things like that in uh, the games. You might not have been aware that there was a small genre of games that really was nothing but animated full motion sequences like this. That just had the tiniest of button inputs that you have to put in to keep the thing rolling. I was never any good at them. That's why I had to cheat to get this one to work. But um, I still thought it was worth showing to all of you folks. If you're upset that I cheated, I'm sorry. Um, it was essentially either I cheat in this fashion or never actually do the Let's Play. Um, and, you know, I thought maybe maybe you folks might like Road Adventure. I certainly... Honestly, the main reason I was doing it is that opening theme. I just can't get that tune out of my head sometimes. I've been a long proponent, uh, I mean, not a long proponent, I just have been, I, I never adopted the whole custom ringtone thing. If you called my phone right now, it would beep. It would like ring, 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 ring. I'm thinking I might need to get just the opening fanfare of the Road Avenger theme as my ringtone. I should set that as my alarm, except I'd be afraid that every morning I'd get up and I'd want to go to work and drive people off of the road while I was on my way to the metro station, or to, you know, the other office that I work at, or wherever I happen to be going. Wow, I didn't even notice that we're semi-truck that made a jump to chase us down one time. Thank you, actually, everybody who was involved in making this, and the people at Wolf Team who made this translation. Or not translation. I mean, there's no actual dialogue to be translated. And I guess that's why it was able to be moved around, you know, ported to uh, various global markets so easily. But, um... Bones. Interesting. Because, yeah, like, the, the video in this is kind of grainy, but, I mean, in the arcades, theoretically, with Laserdisc, it looked as crisp as anything that you would see on, uh, you know, a DVD. Even better than a DVD, honestly. Um, but, um, yeah. So yeah, folks, this is Road Adventure. And, um, you know, you can track it down any number of places. I believe they've even recently made a port for um, iPod. Um, or not iPod, but iPhones, iPod Touch, those sorts of devices. So, I mean, heck, if you were really interested in trying it out for yourself, and, you know, you could go use that. Anyhow, folks, this is Boba the Vulture, and uh, I believe this pretty much wraps up the playthrough of Road Avenger with my score of zero. And here's my ranking. I'm not on it. But that's okay, folks. I think I'm going to be alright. This is Bobo the Vulture. This has been Let's Play Road Adventure. And I thank you very much for watching. Bye now.